Not all that different from Steam, the Nintendo eShop often brings in tens of hundreds of games, many of which you'll never know the quality or lack thereof until it's a little too late. When games are being sold for prices like $4.99, how can you be sure whether or not they're going to be good? But at the same time, you may just want to spend the money and take that gamble. But how about when a game drops to a mere 15 cents? Can a game ever be worth it for that low of a price? Let's find out. What's up YouTube? I'm Ryan Ramakrishnan. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel. Today I want to give you guys my brief thoughts on a game called Bouncy Bob. If you've never heard of Bouncy Bob, you're not alone because I too never knew what it was until I bought it last night on the Nintendo Switch's eShop for a mere 15 cents. The game released on Steam last year and came out on the Nintendo Switch this past spring. So why am I covering such a random title right now? Well, I want to talk about it because of the impact it left me and where it stands on the Nintendo Switch's eShop where games get released all the time and weekly sales will have titles that you're interested in that have really good deals. Others that may or may not be for you, possibly a little niche, and then others which could very well be shovelware. Titles that you'll never know are not good until you spend the money. Bouncy Bob, developed by a very small team called All of Those Moments, went on sale for 15 cents, like I said, coming from its original price point of only $4.99. That's right, a game for less than a quarter. Now, I'm going to tell you my opinions on it. My opinions on a game that I knew was never going to hurt my wallet, but would it have been a waste of my time should I have not played it last night? Well, here are my thoughts on my time with Bouncy Bob. My time with Bouncy Bob came and went quicker than any game that I've ever purchased that I can recall. Now this has nothing to do with the ridiculous length, something which I will get to, but it's the gameplay itself that made me quit instantly. Once Bouncy Bob was purchased for, like I said, less than a single quarter, it took a mere 30 seconds to download, and then it was time. Prior to playing, prior to even purchasing, my knowledge of the game was simply limited to viewing the eShop's trailer and description. I knew it wasn't going to be a delightful platformer and a thought-provoking puzzle game. But Bouncy Bob takes it more than a few steps back in every aspect of its gameplay. In my opinion, Bouncy Bob is nothing more than a boring game. One that is hard to play, arguably more so because of the implemented mechanics rather than challenge. By holding the A button down on your Joy-Con, you see an arrow that moves left to right and vice versa. Wherever the arrow aims when you let go, the protagonist, I use that term loosely here, jumps. It's a sloppy jump, one that feels like it has no control. Bouncy Bob allows you to do one other thing besides jumping. Yes, that's right, just one other thing, and that is the ability to float. Basically, Bob just flaps his arms and flies himself up, and that is all for the controls. It's simply the A button. You hold the A button down to get your aim, and then you tap it rapidly so you can float to get to higher platforms. It doesn't feel good whatsoever, thanks to the odd movement you get out of the button press. Bouncy Bob sees you take on just one objective, and that is the high score. I love a good game that tests your ability to get the highest score, whether you're competing against yourself, online players, or your own local friends. But Bouncy Bob doesn't do super well with this because it's just not fun. You can play by yourself in single player mode, which is how I play for my very, very short time in the game. You bounce on these so-called zombies and you get a point. Ideally, you would chain together these bounces on the enemies and float your way up to higher platformers to pick up these so-called power-ups. Power-ups that allegedly have an effect, but did nothing to improve my bouncing as far as I'm concerned. Each level in the single player mode has a desired high score to reach to unlock the next, but alternatively you could always play with other friends, up to three other friends that is. There the goal is of course to have the high score once more. I didn't try multiplayer, nor do I know anyone who would want to waste their time with this game. In fact, I wouldn't want to do it to them either. The shallow gameplay of Bouncy Bob feels just as monotonous, if not more so, than it looks. I truthfully found myself really bored and annoyed at how it plays almost right away. I consider playing the entirety of the single player mode, a mode that would presumably only last somewhere around 20 minutes, but I realized that the sloppy or at the very least at the best just boring mechanics made Bouncy Bob so hard to actually score points in. I found myself failing over and over again, but just having a truly terrible time with that and 
That was the end. So that's what I think of Bouncy Bob. It's a game that I gave little time to, but didn't need much to formulate a solid opinion. I found Bouncy Bob's gameplay to be unreasonably difficult thanks to some really poor mechanics that are just no fun to play. I did not have a good time with the game myself, but that is just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. Did you or will you buy Bouncy Bob while it's still on sale right now for only 15 cents? Or will you find a better way to spend that pocket change of yours? And if you like this game, please let me know in the comments below why you enjoyed Bouncy Bob. But remember, this is just my opinion. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and also be sure to tell me if you guys think that I should do more videos like this. I am totally down to spend a little money on the Nintendo eShop, especially during sales, buy some random games, test them out, take the risk, and see if they are indie darlings or shovel with that being said, I'm Ryan Ramakrishnan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.